phenomenon that became known as the Calandra effect was first of all illustrated over 200 years ago by Thomas Young. He used this demonstration of blowing on the surface of water through a straw and then gradually bringing up a round glass vessel. The column of air noticeably curves around the vessel and the dimple is now below the glass. The demonstration of blowing over the top of a sheet of paper and the paper lifting is often attributed quite erroneously to the Bernoulli effect, but is in fact the Colander effect. That it is not Bernoulli can be shown by blowing over the bottom of the sheet and the paper still rises. The reason being the same in both cases. The Colander effect is the effect of a stream of fluid, or air in this case, sticking closely to a nearby surface. In this case the stream of air follows the curve of the paper around, therefore being deflected downwards. That change of momentum downwards results in an equal and opposite force pushing the paper upwards. The curve of the paper provides us with exactly the same explanation if we blow underneath. The effect of a wing can be explained in the same way. The stream of air sticks closely to the surface, both top and bottom. The downward slope of the trailing edge and the slight angle of attack of the wing deflects the air downwards. That change in momentum of the air downwards results in an equal and opposite effect pushing the wing upwards. A ball suspended on top of a jet of water is sometimes explained by the Colander effect and sometimes Bernoulli and I don't think it is either. Traditional cartoons of a ball on a water jet suggest it's like this, but it's not. The water sticks to the outside ball and it makes the ball twirl round and the water is thrown off in every direction. The change in momentum of the water is what gives the upward impetus to the ball. However, it is not the Coander effect that causes this isolated stream of water to stick to the ball. Or the same sort of stream of water to stick to the back of the spoon in this often repeated demonstration. Rather it is the intermolecular forces between the water and the surface, the wetting effect of the water. The surface is termed hydrophilic, it will attract the water. This jet of air is not isolated, the ball is surrounded entirely by air. The fact that the ball stays there and doesn't come out sideways is often explained by the Bernoulli effect, but the Coand effect gives a convincing alternative. If the ball is slightly displaced from the centre, more and faster air will pass one edge of the ball. The air clings to the surface of the ball as it did around the glass jar. As it clings, it is deflected to the left in this diagram. The momentum change to the left results in an equal and opposite force, that's Newton's third law, to the right on the ball, pushing it Back into the stream. Video explanations of the Bernoulli and Magnus effect can be seen here. Thank you for watching.